Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to CRT, Citizens for Regional Transit. We're pleased that many of our recent asks have been fulfilled. Our mission is to make transit a competitive alternative to driving cars for everyone. CRT is a charity. We do not endorse parties or candidates. We are partners with the Partnership for Public Good. CRT is a member of these important transportation-related groups. We hold meetings that are open to the public. In January, we had our annual meeting, and last October, we had a meeting on regional tourism at the Niagara Falls Amtrak Station. CRT provides public comments to the NFTA, the GBNRTC, and the New York State Department of Transportation. CRT was an active participant in the Erie County Climate Action Task Force, the New York State Climate and Community Protection Act, the CLCPA, and LISC, involved in equitable transit-oriented development for the LaSalle Street Station, and we participated with the International Institute in meetings initiated by the U.S. Department of State. CRT is in an advisory role for the University at Buffalo's Small Built Works Project, a class where students are building renderings for potential rapid transit and Beltline stations. Participation is included with planners from the towns of Lancaster, Cheektowaga, and the city of Buffalo. CRT has a Yes to Metro yard sign program. CRT is pleased with the new NFTA Parks Adventure Bus, a free bus that goes to various parks throughout the region all summer long. We're also pleased with the new Bills Game buses, which have turned out to be very popular. It proves demand exists for public transportation to the Bills Games. We're pleased that the NFTA is taking care of the Metro Rail Line. New track, new catenary, new escalators, refreshing the station, and cars on Main Street continues downtown. We're very pleased with the rollout of the new battery electric buses. The NFTA bought these buses and equipped them properly for our climate. The NFTA has received about 40 of these brand new battery electric buses. They're charged at the Cold Spring Station. The NFTA is putting up about 30 new bus shelters all over the area. However, we do, we do wish the City of Buffalo would start a pilot program for snow removal at sidewalks and bus stops. CRT is a strong proponent of the NFTA Bus Rapid Transit Project on Bailey Avenue. CRT is pleased that the NFTA has taken leadership roles in the projects you see on this slide. We hope you join CRT and the NFTA in celebrating the grand opening of a new metro rail station downtown. This is the first extension since 1986. In addition to the new transit station on the ground floor of the DLNW terminal, the NFTA just received a $30 million grant to prepare the second floor for shopping and a new walkway to connect the DLNW terminal to KeyBank Center. Transportation is the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. 80% of Americans live in urban areas, and yet of the $1.3 trillion infrastructure loss spending, only about 2% of that will go to local public transit agencies that are the best equipped for moving people at the lowest amount of pollution. The U.S. will never solve its climate problem unless it increases the ratio of funding to public transportation agencies like the NFTA. This is just a reminder that 87% of the people who ride public transit are going to or from work, 7% are students going to and from school, and 6% encompass all the other riders. Ridership on paratransit lines, people with disabilities, is higher now than it was before COVID. Regular riders are down about 20% in Buffalo, even worse in other cities. That's mainly due to service cutbacks that were not restored. There's a national operator shortage and a national mechanic shortage, and that means with 20% less service, there are fewer riders. 
The operator shortage forced the University at Buffalo to cut bus service by 25% last fall. Buses have never been adequate to meet UB's capacity demands. The University's need for a metro rail extension is urgent. There is currently hardship for students, scheduling difficulties, and students may consider to transfer to other universities. UB's ability to grow is in jeopardy. CRT would like to point out that the Amherst Metro Rail extension has already spurred new transit-oriented development at the Boulevard Mall and in Muir Woods. The Amherst Quarter Metro Rail extension is only about eight months behind the projected timeline predicted in 2013. CRT is ready to go all out to help the NFTA get the Metro Rail extension accomplished as soon as the environmental impact statement is released. However, CRT is dead set against bus rapid transit for the Amherst Corridor. One bus can replace almost all of the cars shown in this picture. While one bus can take 40 cars off the road, one four-car metro rail train can take 540 cars off the road. A single metro rail line moves 6,000 people an hour. That's the same capacity as the Kensington Expressway at its maximum capacity. Buffalo population is expected to grow to its all-time high in 2035. As our population grows, we need to provide transit that's good enough for everyone in order to reduce the total vehicle miles traveled. Taking light rail produces even lower emissions than riding an e-bike. Driving an electric car produces nine times more carbon emissions than riding light rail. A gasoline car produces almost 20 times the emissions as riding light rail. CRT would like to point out that the New York State High Speed Rail Project has had $8 billion of investments, but very little of that has been made in western New York. Which brings us to this year's main ask. Our ask is to use federal planning grant money to study both the East Side and South Towns extensions while these funds are available. We don't want to miss this opportunity to have funding to get these into the tip so that they can be worked on in the future. Thank you for listening to and watching this presentation. Now we can talk.